want to be there when you're in the chat. This is what I meant about not having as many customizable options as you only have either male or female. Okay, let me know when you're ready and I'll start the game. I forgot there's that little um, cutscene. to do it. Had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagust, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. Do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Can you hear me okay, by the way? fight them sooner or later then we make our stand here prepare yourself oh and uh, my character talks in this game which is another thing that makes it not as boring okay wait 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 what are we doing here all right what do we do right click an enemy okay there's my mouse
So, do you want me to be a smartass, or do you want me to be, um, diplomatic, or evil? Hey, Kaiser, how are you doing? Perhaps we'll be lucky, and they'll run out of darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? All yours, sister. And here comes the fun part! How's your day, Ben Kaiser? Hope you're doing okay. Shit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The whole story. Variki sexy motherfucker. And don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not gonna end up with a dwarf. Not allowed. 
You know, I actually really like this preset, so I'm just gonna use it. Oh no, I'm not allowed. I forgot. I forgot I'm not allowed to use it because they're a bunch of dicks. No. Nope. Nope. I think we'll just stick with this one. Nope. Let's be old. to me I'll play it I'm just playing or am I fucking I'm sorry that your computer can't handle it mine could I just I haven't had the extra money for it All right, which one? Number one or number two? Number one. Number two. I think of like one first. Yeah, I know, I was being facetious. I'm okay with the eyes the way they are. I'm not gonna mess with anything else.
That's gonna be my portrait. I'm being sneaky. You could only see my eyes. Fuck no, my name ain't Marion. <sighs> I didn't play long enough for that save to matter. Hey Luna. Welcome back, Al Alistair. Light had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalen died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've it looks like a badass. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. I don't like her face. You're right. And yay! We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt. But the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. I'm happy you Lead had on. a safe flight. Alright. Let's see. Let's see the face. And beauty! Okay. Got a new quest. Two arms. I have two arms. God, I hate starting off like this. Oh, did I level up already? Sweet. Shut up. Nobody cares. Abilities. Or attributes. I'm sorry. I lied. We'll use all the decks. And where are you, backstab? I'm gonna need you to come out of hiding. The fuck are you? Stabby, stabby. I don't see it anywhere. Oh no, it's right there. Right in front of my face. GG me. Sweet. Okay, now I can backstab the fuck out of people. Nobody cares. Okay, we need... Alright, that's the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares about bows. Moving on. Wait. 
Where oh, are we going? Shut up, Away Bethany. From the dark spawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Sure we can. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwood. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. And uh, an estate. Then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long. Sounds like she just I'll said just we're gonna take to a ship. Shut up, Carver. And no, he's not missing his lower half. It's a glitch in the game. Stabby, stabby. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, you and your no legs. Your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but the Mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. The order Wesley. dictates that you're a douchebag. That woman is an apostate. Yeah, and you're a the prostate. The order dictates. Dictates I'm gonna cut you in the face. Us. The maker understands. Back up off my sister, bro. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the horde. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If we the options hunting. are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. You laughing at my responses? The smart ass responses. Oh see, here we go. Rivalry and friendship, depending on the choices that I make. So being a smart ass is I'm not gonna be able to be a smart ass all the time when it comes to being around Fenris. Cause he doesn't like he doesn't like it. Half the time. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. You and your floating body! At the no legs. <laughs> floating torso. Okay. Magic. I'll just dump it all in magic for you. playing as Bethany for a second there. Let's not do that. I 
don't want to be Bethany. Look at you and your floating torso. Shut up, Leslie. You gonna die anyway. I'll show them what I can do. Is he still hanging out back there with no legs? Nope, there he is. He, he gained legs. He, Lieutenant Dan, he got new legs! Before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. Should do it. Do you like how I made my portrait? By the way, I'm just peeking up over the bottom of it. Welcome back. Blah, blah, blah. familiar you soulless bastards hey destiny yep fuck you carver get wrecked Start the game because it usually doesn't look this bad. It might look this bad because I tried 
opening this in Steam. Because it shouldn't make those big boxy things. Wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. Oh, it's too bad. Let him He's dead. Off like that. Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, By the way, if you, you if um Carver if Hawk if you choose the main character as being a mage, Bethany me dies to instead. Your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you. I would hope not. Thanks. I'll um I'll open it up a little bit later. But at least father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. Oh. Finish this. There's no end to them. to be we never got visitors to the wilds but now it seems they arrive in hordes impressive where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon perhaps i am a dragon if so count yourself lucky the smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite if you wish to flee the darkspawn you should know you are heading in the wrong direction wait you can't just leave us here can I not? I spotted a most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? Oh, well, they're not that tiny. The I like tiny boobs. Your king will not miss you, hmm? I'm sure he'll miss his life more. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. I like little boobs. Is it fate? Yeah. I can 
That's my personal preference. I've got big ones. I've got big enough ones for me and the rest of the universe. And that's why I like little boobs on my Fortune women. smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Probably not. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Dark Spawn. If you need to, leave me behind. He's gone now. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Roast a few more Darkspawn? I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostago. Not all. But the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. I'm not going to be able to be a smartass for everything. Be strong, my love. Stabby stab. It would have been funny if, if the knife was glitched out so he just picked up nothing and he got stabbed by air. <laughs> No, if, if you say that you'll do it, she she argues and she'll be like, no, he's my husband, blah, blah, blah. An end, there can be no so I took the diplomatic option to get her to like me a little bit more. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth. I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion. Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. Who, Aveline? Aveline is my main Continue. warrior, unfortunately. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall. 
the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. I want to at least get to the part where we meet Sail Fenris. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. I'm not sure whose ass. Somebody's ass. city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Don't let me in. Because I'll show them my beards. They're Peraldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would you know, for somebody who doesn't want to be pointed out as a mage, she sure does carry her staff around. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlet. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay, Aveline's friendship is good. We're gonna save. And I'm gonna restart the game. Hopefully there's not going to be any more, any more issues. Hold on, I'm going to do this ticket really quick. Because <sighs> I'm also, by the way, I'm also working while I'm streaming, so... Asian region. Hmm. Press more info.
PlayStation, blah, blah, Good night. You going to bed? Hope you have a great night. Sleep tight. All that good stuff. Let me in, I'm special. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough core of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. I'm sorry, Luna, it happens. Unfortunately, it always does that. Was Wesley based out of the load of the I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. He just called then him. Get back on your flaming. ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. I find keeping my neck away from Knight Commander Meredith Blade far more attractive than any of you. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that man. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman. The only gamblin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about it. We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! 
Mmm, it's been so long since I've killed people. This kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. No. And if he's not, who's don't not? Look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra, damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin. It, let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The blight, your husband, dead. I'd. Uh... I figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. A drastic guide. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> It'd make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms. But the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Hmm? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Thenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for, as long as it means we don't have to go back. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Are you a Senra? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril. 
friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. What are you doing with that? Back away from it, friend. Now. Aww, darn. Wait. This is a Thinril's doing, isn't it? You can tell that bitch I'm going straight to the guard again. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you and your man. She wants to beat him. Hey! Stay back. Just she wants to beat him out. Uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. That's what I thought. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Boop. There's a whole bunch of dialogue if you talk you to him instead of just going to the thingy. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. But I wanted to keep the gold. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to a Thinril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the Champion. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Uh -uh. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. Thanks, JD. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. Yeah, it is. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. 
We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Hello, Farrick. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <gasps> Off you go. <gasps> Farrick is such a badass. How do you do? Eric Tetris, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. I hope there's more to this. Like I am wonderful. Like to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with dark spawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Just been working. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. Just been working. I think Decided we'll to, to start playing it. this game again. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? It's not like I had anything better planned. P perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hangar. Privately. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Yeah, pretty much. Backpack, 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 backpack. Okay. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Equipped is better than this one. Do, 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 do. Need to wear a belt. Don't have nearly enough for my backpack. Picking locks and disarming traps. Need to go ahead and uh, pop that one up there. Oh, the magic!
Where is Bianca? There she is. <laughs> yeah, I've um, I've got oh, Origins, this one, and Inquisition as well. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I still haven't. I still haven't beat. You aren't still working Inquisition. for Inquisition, you? Your year must be up by now. Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? Tell you what, I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Do my best not to, worthy. Thank you. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. Watch yourself. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. Such a such a good good. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. So I'm beat Inquisition. I should, but it's just not. Not quite high on the priority list at the moment. I'll get around to it. This is still my favorite one out of all of them. Yay! How much longer do I have to wait? Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan. Although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Evelyn. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough. But we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Yes, I am. I don't think I can do that. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah.
think after a certain number of books that I read, I get an achievement or something. Triple, triple decker bunk beds, huh? Now I need to have triplets. Shut up. How much longer do I have to wait? Thirty years. Don't mind me. I can't do that. Um, let's see if Barrick can't can. really my Nope, Barrick can't. I took your wine. Go to Low Town. <gasps> Since we've got mail. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations, Joe? My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Ethemeral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Ethemeral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free for old time's sake. Thanks, bitch. Something of yours, sir. You did this. Without being begged and voice paid. And trust it. I think Uncle Gamble comes here. Shove off you. God, I love this game. supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. 
You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who brought the estate gather? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. Super rude. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gammon seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Barbara. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Unless we somehow turn Gamlin into an upstanding citizen, what's done is done. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Gamlin couldn't have just sold himself and saved us all the trouble. <laughs> Can you just imagine him sweeping and scrubbing for some Tevinta matriarch? Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. Bum, 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 bum. It's time to get sneaky up in this bitch. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. Which is that stain? Ooh, I have gold. Do you ever wish you lived in Orzammar? Great ancestors, no. You know what- I wish I lived in Orgrimmar. Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with lug shit and body odor. I don't have the decks for that. And every person there thinks he's better. Because his great 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 grandfather. Water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? No. Nope. I have a good imagination.
Why would I waste it on that? I don't know why I'm still running this way. I need to go to Low Town. And go to the Hanged Man for a pint. Of apostates, not even a little. Sunshine, I'm a dwarf. In case you missed that detail, dwarf. Not completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least thirty people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. Who has time to worry about apostate? With a merchant's guild breathing down your neck. In that case. I see. You heard about that hero? Yes. Why? What makes a hero a hero, eh? I bet I could kill an archdemon. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartram can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. <laughs> Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Doreen has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break, guys. Before I do so, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. And I shall return.
Overturned. Can you guys not? Emily, really? You show admirable restraint, Bethany. For a mage, you mean? I could also say for a hawk. But yes, for a mage. You have a sword. Why aren't you killing someone right now? Fair point. But I can put my sword down. Believe me. I have tried. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Looks like trouble's coming!
shit. to the ambush hawk. Be ready. I'm ready. Now we There's fight. our targets. Track. To the carpool car! 